new movie, Read Views, with me, Cody Reed. Now, this review is for Tomorrowland. It stars Britt Robertson, George Clooney, and Rafi Cassidy, and it's directed by Brad Bird. Now, first off, you might not really know what this movie's about from some of the previews you've seen, and that's because it's on purpose. They wanted to keep some of the movie a mystery, which ended up uh, being an okay thing. Now, Britt Robertson stars as this girl named Casey who's very optimistic about what the future can bring. Just this, like, optimistic girl who's in her teens, and she comes across two things. One, a pen, a little Tomorrowland pen, which transports her magically, like, in an instant to this bright, magical, technological land, kind of, like, futuristic. And then she also comes across this girl, Athena, who can help her return there because she only got a glimpse of it, you know, was only there for a little bit. And so this girl, Athena, is able to help her get back there. But in order to do that, they need the help of George Clooney's character, Frank, who is kind of like this grumpy, cranky guy who, uh, you know, has been to Tomorrowland. And he had some of that hope that she, uh, Casey used to have, but he's kind of lost sight and he's cranky now. So this trio work together to return back to Tomorrowland and that's where the story goes off. Now really the rest of the movie should remain a mystery so I'm not going to go too much into that but uh, just know that the beginning was actually you know pretty uh, interesting and it grabbed your attention pretty well. Going into the acting we just mentioned George Clooney as Frank he does a great job, he's a great actor, but it's just kind of different seeing him play this cranky guy like, oh, oh, we have to go back there, you don't know what you're talking about, kid. And so he plays this cranky guy, but he does it well. Uh, Raffi Cassidy, actually, I don't want to talk about too much of her role, but just know that she's a really great actress, actually, for someone her age, and she plays a, a vital role and a great part in this story. As for Britt Robertson as Casey, she really is the main actress of this movie, and she carries it really well. You know, having this hope and this optimism, trying to return to this land and figure out what's going on. So she really carries the movie well. Now to some of the negatives, there wasn't as much Tomorrowland, the place, as I had hoped. It was more like the journey than the destination itself. Like, I wanted to be in the place more, but it was more like, oh, how do we get back there? We've seen glimpses of this. And they'll show it in some other, like, flashbacks and other things, but... I just expected to see more of it, but whenever you are there, it is bright and it has great CGI and effects, and it fills you with this, like the hope and wonder, and uh, so it wasn't as much as I expected, but, and the ending as well was kind of a negative for me, because you go through this movie expecting this mystery, and then it comes to it, and it wasn't really what I was expecting, maybe I was just expecting something different, but when the ending came, I was like, Oh, okay, this is the path that we're going, and they have this message, like this moral of the story that they're like beating you over the head with, like, you must understand this idea and this moral that we're trying to make you understand. So, you know, with the effects and it just being the destination uh, place, Tomorrowland, we didn't see much of it, those kind of brought down my overall score of the movie. But like I mentioned, when you are there, it's a great change from those dystopian, bleak future movies that we've seen. This one kind of has more of a hope and brightness to it. To kind of wrap up, if you're on the fence still, one of the biggest things going for this movie is that it's original. It's not part of like a remake or a reboot or a sequel. It's this own movie. It's an original idea. So if you like movies like that, you might like Tomorrowland. Uh, if you're expecting some great mystery, though, at the end, you might be let down. So that might be a con against the movie. So those are some things that might make you go for or against it. With all those things in mind, I'm going to give it a three and a half out of five stars. Like I mentioned, the first two-thirds, three-fourths of the movie I still really enjoyed. It had great pace, great acting and effects, but then when you get that last uh, quarter of the movie, I was just expecting something else that it could have or should have done, and uh, you know, and then overall just kind of made it enjoyable. I expected to love this movie, but I thought it was enjoyable. That's all I got for you. You know, what are some original sci-fi movies that you guys liked? Edge of Tomorrow was one of my favorite movies from last year, and it was an original sci-fi movie. So leave some comments below. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you could get updates on reviews. And then also make sure to send me some questions at moviereadviews at gmail.com. Thanks so much for watching this movie read view. My name's Stitch. I was in a sci-fi movie from Disney, Lilo and Stitch. I'll give this movie three out of five Alohas.